Hi, I'm Erica from Farm Study, and today I'm answering your most asked questions about the airlock. Question number one, how do I assemble it? The airlock is made up of three pieces. The cap, which can be a little bit tight the first time you take off, an inner dome, and the main chamber. To assemble, you just wanna take some water, fill it up about two thirds of the way, place your dome back in, and cap. Now you just wanna push it firmly into the grommet on your lid and let it ferment away. Question number two, what exactly does this airlock do? When you're fermenting something, it makes bubbles. So the airlock lets all those bubbles out without letting anything else in. You might have read about burping your jars. We think that's kind of gross and not necessary. The airlock means that you can just set it away. It will let all the gases out and nothing else in so you don't have to worry about it during fermentation. Question number three. What do you do if something gets into your airlock? So if you're fermenting something, come back a day later and it's all cloudy, there is a good chance that your fermentation was just super active and it pushed up some of the brine. To fix that, just take it off, rinse it out, refill it with clean water and pop it back on. The other opposite problem that can happen is if your water level gets really, really low. This can happen in the summer, especially if there's a lot of evaporation. Just take it off, top it with water and get it back on. Again, I'm Erica from Farm Study, and I'm here to make sure that your first fermentation goes super, super well. So please keep your questions coming about airlocks or anything else. Thanks for watching. Please like, follow, subscribe, and keep your questions coming. Thanks.